Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Amra and this is Amra's Beauty Blog. I'm a freelance makeup artist with a passion for all things beauty. If you're a subscriber, then a welcome return. If you like this channel and would like to see more, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads. So today I'm going to be talking about the Yves Saint Laurent Dress Me Wild Holiday Collection 2020 and let's have a look at the key pieces that I've picked up. So I love the way when Yves Saint Laurent send their products over because it's in a lovely box as you can see and the three pieces that I picked up were the core piece which was the Couture Colour Clutch Collector so as you may know I reviewed one of their palettes I think it was the Paris palette in another video I have their Marrakesh palette which I haven't reviewed yet but I will and this is the holiday palette so I just wanted to show you what it looked like so it's called the Dress Me Wild Couture Colour Clutch Collector for eyes and face and it's 20 grams of product and this is what it looks like. As you can see it's beautiful, it's got this sort of leopard print in red and black and it's got the Yves Saint Laurent logo in the middle. If you've been watching my Instagram you would have seen me put this up so these are all the colours which are really really lovely and what we're going to do today is we're going to create some looks with some of the eyeshadow, some of the cheeks and a little bit of the highlight. Unfortunately when I went to their website they don't tell you which one is which so this is all a bit of a guessing game which I'm a little bit disappointed about because I think they've stated somewhere that four of them are eyeshadows, four of them are like for the face and the eye and then two are for cheek but actually if you look at it you could probably get away with using it however you want really so today it's just a little bit about exploring these particular colours. These are all the colours colors. So there's 10 colors in total. And that is the front. And then I picked up two of the lip colors. I picked up the Pure Rouge Per Couture Collector and this one is in La Rouge number no. one and it's one of their core signature colors and it's just like a classic red and as you can see the packaging is gorgeous for this particular collection. That is the colour. We'll put this on together and see how it looks but it's one of their classic colours. Really looking forward to that. So that is the colour. And then I picked up one of their Rouge Volupt Shine Collector 140 Rosewood in Wild. I just thought it was a really nice balm because I've used their balms before and I really like their balms. Again, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous with the leopard print. This is slightly different, it's got gold and black. So that is Rosewood in Wild. So I have the Fenty Primer, I have the Dior Foundation in Forever, and I have a little bit of bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury in the colour Tan.
So this is just a look that I've just done for a little bit of fun, just to try out the different colours and so as you can see I've just added some mascara on and I have just created a easy look with a couple of colours that you saw from the palette that I showed you. I'm quite surprised, I wasn't sure how this would be considering with the Paris palette I felt like sometimes the colours didn't come out as well but when I put this on my eyes the colours came out pretty intensely. It's really nice. I use about seven of the colours which I was really surprised about but I thought try it with the lip shine. Okay so I've got the lip shine here and this is in Rosewood in Wild. And I think this is a really cute look. It's actually really pretty and the colours go really well together with this particular lipstick. There's a peachy sort of pinky colour just here and here and I might just try and intensify the blusher. So these are the two pinky colours and just on the cheeks because I want to add a little bit more pink because my lips are kind of quite light. So, so this is kind of like the more cooler. You know what, I really like this. But after applying the lipstick on, I feel like it helps to complete the look a little bit better. So this is sort of like a everyday kind of daily look that you could kind of get away with using the palette. And I think you would agree that actually it's really refreshing and quite cute. You don't even need to add the blue. I added the blue because I wanted a little bit of something extra, but you could just have the browns and you can just put on some mascara and then this lip and then just brighten the cheeks up with the highlight just to give yourself a fresh look. It looks better than I thought it would look, so that's always a good thing. So this is just an everyday look with the Yves Saint Laurent Dress Me Wild Mature Eye Palette. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to intensify my eyes using the palette and I'll show you which colours I'm going to use. I'm going to keep the colour that's still remaining on here and just intensify it and then I'm going to put the red lip on so you can see what the red lip looks like. This is the final look for the second look and I absolutely love it. I just want to talk to you about the pieces that I picked up. So this was the Couture Colour Clutch Collector in Dress Me Wild and this was the lipstick that I've got on which is in I think number one. That is the Rouge Per Couture and I also picked up Rouge Relux shine in 
Rose, I think it's Rose in Wildwood, which you saw earlier on. I think this collection is really, really pretty. It's quite pigmented, surprisingly. I wasn't sure what to expect because I tried the Paris Couture collection and feel like this one has a lot more versatility in the sense that you can use it for your eyes, for your cheeks, as a highlighter. So I think this palette is a lot more versatile than the Marrakesh and the Paris one. However, I think with those ones you get more eye colour choice, whereas this one you only sort of get maybe four sort of in that palette. So if I show you, you get probably only get the four that are here, maybe even three as main for me that will show up as three eye colours. And then this is probably more like a, a transition shade. And sometimes you can use these two together. And then this is the highlighter. And then I would say these are the blushes. And this is like an inner corner highlight. So technically this one, although has the same amount of colours in the 10 pan, it's a lot more versatile. So so I think you would get through this faster than say the eyeshadow palettes that you would get from this collection. The lipstick is lovely, it's a real statement piece. I think it would probably do nicely with a liner because I'm guessing that it could probably bleed purely because the colour is quite strong. The rose in Wildwood that I picked up in the shine is such a beautiful colour and I'm so glad I picked that up as well and I'm really really happy with this purchase. So it's still available. It is part of their holiday collections. I'm sorry that it's taken a bit of time since when I posted the photograph on Instagram to get this review up, but I hope that it's been worth the wait. It, I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please let me know your comments. Do you like this look? Do you like the looks I've created? I'd love to hear. Please let me know if you've picked up any pieces as well from the collection and if you've tried Yves Saint Laurent makeup before and what your comments and what you think of Yves Saint Laurent makeup. I'd love to hear. So please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly uploads and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you.